Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev. This is the Beginner's Guide. Whoa! That was a glitch. <laughs> to Savage Lands. And it is in order to get access still. Folks, please keep that in mind. There will be glitches and bugs. It's not their fault. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to get to the third island, Jogamir, without using the portals. So, the portal is right over there. And if you just come right down here, so you make a left, the burned out village, come down this way, till you see this patch of ice right here. I put a nice big thing for me, at least, so I don't miss it. It's the first big patch like this you'll see on this side over here. Oh, hey, there goes that. Later, dude. Anyways, hopefully this will be a somewhat informative thing, because there's not a whole lot to do here. What we're going to do is we're just going to run on the ice. Now, keep your eye in the bottom right corner on your cold. One of the things the devs have done a lot, and can't blame them, they're fine tuning and it's going to take balancing, is making this warmer and colder. So you always want to make sure if you're going to come across and you're going to do this little run that I'm doing, and all we're doing is hugging this left side here for now. Make sure you have at least a full stack of bear meat because that, you see how far my blue, uh, the blue bars already come down on me? because you will run out of stamina before you make it across the ice and uh, you're going to want to make sure you have full stamina when you get over here because it is a dangerous dangerous area you will be coming over in steel armor at the very least make sure you have steel armor on you might survive one to two you know get hit once and be able to run away anyways so here we go now as soon as we make it here you can see right there there are two torches and that's the dock so right over here is the portal where you come in but if you followed um, my guides and I'm not sure when which one will go up first I think this one will um, when I do the tree gods we're gonna go through that portal over there and then you'll see me run directly over this way to what I show you guys because this is how I did it um, I didn't kill all the forest guards because when I wanted to get over here to get um, my silver stuff, the forest guards, uh, forest giants were brutal. So you can see again how fast our health goes down running on the ice here. Anyway, so I ran over here exploring, took a, my four or five stacks of meat, and very important make sure you have all the materials to build a base uh, at least the stone house you guys will see if you've been following my series you know I like to build bases everywhere if I can so that uh, I can farm areas to get the best gear that I possibly can now at this point um, when we get over here I'm gonna show you the beginning of a run which is for gold and silver and these aren't going to be very long videos they're just quick little snippets to show you guys little parts here but anyways you keep following the ice now normally there is a stack of driftwood there you can chop that up and uh, gather the wood and the sticks from it Again, make sure you keep eating and keeping that cold off you because, again, the other big thing the devs have talked about, and they haven't talked about it in a while, but they're going to put all kinds of monsters out here. So, depending on when you see this, you're going to want to get over and probably try it as quick as possible. This is how I got all my silver weapons and my silver armor. It does, it's not a huge run. It will take um, time, so what I would suggest is get two characters going. Two characters geared out in steel gear. Put one over here and have him do a silver run and then in gold. And then on the other side, have your other guy and have him going after the tree giants um, and the trogers so you can get uh, easy bandages and um, the radiant gems. Those are real easy to go over there. Or, and I'll probably show how to get to. Uh, um, the spirit wolves in the next video which will be the run 
Whee! And just run over through the water. And I will probably be doing a video when I have a whole bunch of meat to blow to show you guys and run the whole length of the island. Uh oh. Hear that sound? That is the sound of nightmares. That are the Grindles. And they are nasty. The. Ooh. Anyways, here's my base. It's half built into the ground. <laughs> Again, always make sure you've got a spawn point for your base so that, because you probably will get killed. The run I'm going to show you, it's dangerous. You can get chomped and killed real easy. It's not that hard to do. Anyways, to make sure you guys know exactly where this base is and a good place to do it, because so far this has been one of the few spots I can build a base. I can build small stuff places. But here, I've got this so that no one can get me when the monsters, uh, the, the uh, Grindles, and whoever else comes along, they always run around the perimeter. They can't get me if I stay right here in the center. So, anyways, we'll get all fueled up. All right. And now, so continuing ugh, down this way, we'll go right to the portal. And I'll show you guys where the portal is from this side. Just in case you see different things, but you hear that sound, that, my friends, are Grindles. And, oh, crap, there's a bunch of them. And there usually is. So, make sure your stamina is where it should be so you can run like a mofo, because they are everywhere, as you can see. Holy crap on a crutch. Uh-oh, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's dangerous. Anyways, so that's um, the Grindles are what you get a face if you come straight through here. If you notice on my side um, and on this ice route that is over there. Oops, wrong direction. Nope. Oh yeah, and you have to. You don't have. You can outrun this guy. He's easy to kill though. Uh, at this point, if you're going to be going to the third island. Anyways, so you can see, there we go, my car can't quite do it, but on the right side of the screen you can see the little fireplace, that's where we started. And you know, sometimes you just feel like killing stuff. So folks, thank you for watching. Remember, keep your heads down. The blood and gore up. I, and Choka, will see you again real damn soon. Copper, huh? Hey, more bandages. See you again soon, folks.